Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. My name is Nicole. Today I wanna to talk to you about how to shop for vintage clothing if you're a plus size. And if you're interested, just keep watching. It's gonna be fun. I got four quick and easy tips. I even threw on my Donna Summer wig for y'all. <laughs> Let's do it. So before we really get into it, I wanted to say that I love vintage clothing. I was um, an only child up until age five. I was the baby of the family. There were all adults and older people in my family. And so I love going to my great grandparents and my grandparents' home um, and going through their stuff. And my great grandmother was a cosmetologist. I think I told you guys this. And I don't know, she just was really fancy. She had a lot of fancy things in her house. I remember this dashiki that she had and I loved it. I was like, wow. Um, even then I knew that dash that dashiki was bomb. It was floor length. I wore it to um, Halloween one year for junior high school. I don't know what happened to that dang on thing. I still to this day think about that dashiki. But I have her purses, a couple of her purses. One of them is like ostrich something and I don't know, child. But she had a lot of good stuff and she had a, a lot of bomb costume jewelry. So I think that's really where it all came from. And so as I've aged and gotten older, I really appreciate vintage clothing and um, really love it and incorporate it into my workwear. Um, so I want to share some, some tips with you all, the really simple tips. The first one is to really look at what draws your eye in regards to color and pattern. And so I picked up this top. All of these items I'm going to show you are from Vintage by Marquis. She's here on Instagram and she has an Etsy store. And so I picked up this top, the colors and the pattern caught my eye um the other reason why i picked up this top is because oftentimes at least from when i look i don't see a lot of plus size vintage tops now i'll see a lot of sh uh, dresses i'll see skirts but i often don't see tops and this one is really cool because i honestly think that it could double as a blazer because if you look at it it's kind of hard to see because all the pattern but if you look at it it has sort of a, a shawl lapel and it opens all the way so i kind of think I could wear this either as a shirt, like close it with a pencil skirt or wear it open um, as a blazer. Okay, so that's the first tip is to really look for colors, patterns, prints, things that catch your eye and kind of, you know, maybe make a note, screenshot it, uh, bookmark it, favorite it or whatever. Or if you're in the store, hold on to it. Don't let it go. Hold on to it. Put it on your arm as you walk around. <laughs> the second tip is to know your shape or know your um, shapes and silhouettes that work for you. So this is a dress that has a beautiful bow, right? Gives you a cute little look. Um, the thing about this dress that is really important is that it's straight up and down, but it also has a lot of fabric. So it's not straight up and down and snug, it's straight up and down and loose. Um, and so if you know, for instance, that you're bottom heavy, then you can buy something like this as long as it has enough space for your bottom and you can belt it, which is something I would do. Um, also, for instance, if you know you are a bottom heavy, you could do something like with this dress here. It has an elastic waist. And even if you have like an apple shape where maybe more of your weight is in the middle and you know you need more space, this also works with this elastic waist. So knowing your silhouette can also help you shop. So first thing you're looking at colors and patterns that you like, and then you're going to say, hmm, is this shirt, would this work with my silhouette? Would this dress work with my silhouette? Um, do I want to draw attention to my hips and my backside, for example, or do I not want to? So you have to know those things um, as you're looking so that you pick up on items that will work for you. The third thing is to know your measurements. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's really important to know your measurements because the sizes in 2020 in your clothes are different than the sizes in clothes from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, or even 90s. So a size 14 today is probably bigger than a size 14 20 years ago. So you have to know your measurements. Many of the uh, vendors or sellers of vintage clothing online especially will put the measurements so you know. And the reason why I pulled this dress out, it's gorgeous, right? It's orange. It's really pretty. Got the nice little detail there. Um, and you can belt it or whatever. But the thing about it is, I must have underestimated. Because to me, and I, I haven't tried it on yet. I could be totally wrong. 
This looks like it's going to be a little snugger on me than I had anticipated. I thought it would be more loosely fitting or flow a little loosely, more loosely like this one. Um, but this one looks like it's going to be a lot snugger. Um, so I'm just a little concerned about that for me. Um, things that you can do sometimes when stuff is too small, you can turn it into a tunic top. Um, or you could, you know, or a blouse or something like that. The other option, I have a good friend, Nomsa, and I might just go on and get this to her because she's smaller than I am. Um, and this is cute. I think it would fit her and it would be really nice. So if it doesn't work for me, um, it goes to her. And then I look like the hero and the best friend ever in life because I give her clothes all the time. So definitely know your measurements so you can prevent this. Sometimes you can't. You do the best you can and then it still doesn't fit. And it's okay. You just have to think about, you know, what to do with it next. Either resell it or give it to someone else, you know. But it's always good to know your measurements to make the best educated guess as possible. All right. And the last tip is when people send you free clothes or you have an opportunity to look through some clothes, do it. So I guess when you spend a certain amount with Vintage by Marquis, she kind of throws in an extra item. And I'm just going to say, baby, this ain't my kind of outfit right here. Um, I don't like the, the swirly of it. The colors are pretty. I just don't like the swirliness. It's kind of psychedelic 60s. It's not my thing. But it, I mean, I might put it on and it actually might look really good. Um, so I appreciate the free item. I'm a, I'm going to try it on. And if it works, I'm going to be like, Hey, especially with my Donna summer here. Boop, boop. Um, but yeah, sometimes you have an opportunity to look through somebody's closet. I remember once my friend Clarissa, they were trying to clean something out. I found a vintage denim jumpsuit. I ended up selling it like a dummy, but it was bomb. So don't ever, you know, sleep on those kinds of opportunities. Sometimes estate sales, you can dig through people's stuff. Do it if you can and see what works for you. Um, most of the time, vintage clothes are cheaper than new clothes and you can have a new wardrobe for a little bit of nothing. So yeah, hopefully these tips were helpful. Next video, I'm going to show you what to pair with some of these items. And then I'll go into the fashion show for the third video. All right, y'all. Take care. Bye. I'm back. I'm back. My camera be wanting to cut off on me. So if, if the videos be jumpy and stuff, it's because I had to start over or splice it together. Y'all video ain't trying to let me be great. Dag nag it. All right. So let's go head on to part two. This is how to style some of these pieces I picked up and I'm going to show you. So here's the top slash blazer. Um, I, you know, to me, honestly, you know, this is very simple, but I feel like this top is saying a lot. And so you don't want to compete with that. So you throw your black pencil skirt on or your black leggings. You could throw some jeans on. Now, what I would do is pair this with these shoes, though. I would do that. <laughs> or let me see. Mm, these, because these are vintage shoes. Um, I would do that. I, I'm just saying that's what I would do. So that's an easy one. Now, this dress, again, I told you it's very loose. I would belt it. I would use this electric blue belt. For me, because my waist is short, um, skinny belts work better. I used to love those thick belts, but ooh, but my um, waist is too, I guess, um, short or high, um, and they often don't work really well, so I don't do that anymore. Another option is to take this sweater and put it over the dress, and you let the little bow kind of peep. You tie that little cute bow part and let it peep out of there. Now, I only could find a gray sweater, so don't be coming for me, but gray works. Um, and you tie that and it looks really cute and you can still belt it or not. So I would do that. With that, I would wear red shoes with that or navy blue shoes. So with the gray, you can do a number of things with gray. Um, gray is what? Black and white. The more black, the darker the gray. The more white, the lighter the gray. So this is gray. And as you know, since gray is black and white, you can pretty much put anything with this dress. Um, I would do that. Um, ooh, that looks really good. I'm like, ooh, I would do that. Neon. And for some reason, I really have this affinity for gray and um, burgundy. I don't know why, but I do. Um, this would look cute with tennis shoes. You could kind of make it a little um, casual, more casual. Uh, or some booties. Uh-oh. You could, you could do that um, if you really wanted to. So that's an idea. Um, with this dress, the orange dress, I think I would do head wraps. Um, I, I think I would just really, you know, like this would, could be a head wrap 
on top of that. This one could be one. And even this, this is a scarf, but I might just want to throw that on my head with that. Um, brown sandals, brown heels. Um, if I didn't want to wear those head wraps and I just wanted to go to work with that dress on, I would do that. Um, that looks really, I just bought these from Poshmark, y'all. Look at that, $30. That looks gorgeous together. So there are some options. And, and in the fashion show, I'll put some stuff together so you can see how everything looks. And yeah, so you can mix and match. You can do all kinds of things. There was something else I forgot. You could even wear these pink heels with this and you would still be, you wouldn't be out of line. You'd be right there like, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's so, so many different things to do with all of these items. Okay. Oh, one more thing. One more thing, y'all. Remember I told you guys that your accessories can often give you some clues about what to wear with certain things. So with this gray dress, see the gray in the earrings, but also see that burgundy or that red and that green. This would be really pretty together. Okay. And, you know, throw a belt around that elastic waist and just be popping. All right. So stay tuned for the next video, which is the fashion show. All right, y'all. Take care. Bye. Thank you.